all right guys welcome to our channel once again today's lesson on biology revision series we are going to learn about cell differentiation and specialization so let us start by saying that different cells will possess different structures to suit their different functions so cells do not often look the same so the differentiation is simply the way or the process by which the cell changes to become specialized in their functions. So as the cells advance, they develop different subcellular structures and then become different types of cells, such as the fat cells, epithelial cells, the blood cells, the neural cells, and the rest of them. So these cells allow them to carry out specific functions. In most animals, the ability to differentiate is lost at an early stage after they become specialized. However, most plants do not lose this ability. In mature animals, cells that are likely to differentiate are mainly used for repairing and replacing other cells. These include cells like the skin cells and the blood cells. Cells which are yet undifferentiated are called stem cells. We will discuss more about this in another video. Alright, so now let's consider the specialized cells in details. For animals, we have the sperm and the ova, which are specialized for reproduction. We also have the nerve cells, which are specialized for cell signaling. We also have the muscle cells, which are specialized for contraction. Whereas for the plant cells, we have the root hair cells, which are specialized for absorbing minerals and water. And then we have the xylem and phloem, which are specialized for transporting substances. So guys, that will be all for this lesson. If you are new to our channel, ensure to join our Telegram channel with the link on the description below to get information relating to the examination. Also, ensure to like our videos, share and comment on the comment section below. See you in our next video. Thank you.